Peeperonies, it's me, Ava Frog, with another video. It's been like five months since I posted, I'm sorry, but I thought today I'd do something and talk about something I'm really passionate about, and as you can tell from the title of this video, I'm going to be talking about harp history and some fun facts because, I don't know, it's something I find really cool and interesting, and who knows if you'll find it cool and interesting too. So, I won't talk more uh, or a ton about like the history because there's like a lot but harps have been around for like since 3000 bc or earlier they've a long time it's one of the oldest instruments and like there's a lot of different types of harps so there's like from what i play i play the pedal part so they have like seven pedals on the bottom and they correspond to like each letter string so a b c d e f g and so like when you change them they go up and down they change the pitch or like the if they're like a sharp natural or flat and so actually i'll put a picture in here probably and so like up in the column of the harp there are like rods that go up and then they go through and they change the where it's pressed for the string and that changes the pitch which is pretty cool but that wasn't invent invented until like the 1700s 1800s around that and so like they're like the modern harp so they haven't been around too long that's why in a lot of orchestral music i have to play like bass parts or cello parts because harps like that didn't really exist in an orchestra um then there's also like the like lever harps which are a lot smaller and they they tend to only play between two tones of the notes like naturals and flats or naturals and sharps I'm not sure which and so you just switch those and I'll change and they're on the top and you just switch them with your fingers and then they change the note and then there's a lot of different other ones like electric harps which you just plug in and they're about the size of the pedal harp and you just like play it while it's across your body um and then there's also like double or triple string and with the double string they like cross like an X they're actually really cool but I think they'd be really hard to play and then triple string is like two rows and then the middle row are like the notes in between super cool stuff um yeah so there's a lot more history on harps and like different types of harps and varieties and yeah so that's pretty cool um one of the struggles of harp is how expensive they are so <laughs> Which is a big problem for a lot of harps. Harpist. <laughs> and so, especially with me, when you play a pedal concert harp, um, they start when you want to buy a new one, like $16,000. And that's a lot of money for a um, high school. So, yeah, we're working on that, and that's okay. But, you know, there's also a lot of programs like Renting to Own It, which is, like, really good. Cause, so, like, you pay for a few months, and then I think you buy it. Also, another thing for harpists is like, so usually like when you have a person who plays a flute, you can call them like a flutist, a flute player, a flautist, I think. And so there's a few things that you can call a harpist. A harpist, obviously a harp player, or you can call them a harper. Do not call them a harpy. A lot of people do this, especially if it's your child who plays, you call them a harpy, but that is not a very appropriate term because it relates to something else that's like what is it it's like a mythical creature that's not very appropriate not in my christian household um so yeah please if you know someone who plays a harp do not call them this that is highly recommended and it makes everybody feel awkward when we're also playing the harp it is played with your first four fingers so we do not use our pinkies which a lot of people don't know because they just assume it's like piano and you use all your fingers so that's why I always have my pinky nails as the longest because all my other fingers can't have long nails when you're playing but there are some places I guess around the world that would use like your fingernails but it just gives a very different kind of like twangy sound you know like if you think of a guitar and that kind of like a sound or like it creates a little bit of a ring on it um but then also people don't know 
how like there's different categories of instruments obviously because instruments aren't the same so when people think of harps they also think of the lyre they're like oh they're related so they make a lot of like harp lyre jokes haha <laughs> um but that is not the case um lyres are not classified in like the harp category of musical instruments even though they're both stringed instruments they're just kind of very, 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 very different. Um, as they're much smaller, and especially like the types I play, they have 48 strings, but lyres are like tiny with not as many strings and you can't change the notes at all, I don't believe. I don't play the lyre, so I would not know. <laughs> but yeah, so there's so many like different interesting facts about the harp and these are just a few that I know. There's also like some documentaries through like Discovery or the National Geographic. I don't think National but like something and there's like it's like an hour long though but I highly recommend like you go and watch that if you want to learn more about it and like see people's different techniques and different harps played in different places and like styles and if it's traditional or like modern or jazz there's like so many things about the harp and i highly recommend if you find it a little interesting to go check it out like you know how like harps are made are incredible like it can take like months just to get the wood like prepared in that climate to be like formed and shaped and yeah, it's crazy, and you should definitely look into it because I know this much, and it already blows me away. So, that's pretty cool to research as well. And so, that concludes my video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm so blessed to have so many people supporting me, even if it is only like 22 people watching my videos. That still means a lot to me, and I think that's really cool. So, I'll see you later, my peeperonies. I love you all. I forgot a lot of stuff, but um, yeah, I was thinking next video I would do like a kind of question answer thing. So like if you guys want to like comment down questions or if you want to message me questions that I can put into the video, otherwise I'll just like look up basic Pinterest, get to know each other questions, but if there's something that you want to know, just comment down below and I'll try and put that in my video.